Comment 687 reminds you of the procedure for working out the equation of a tangent. Uh, there's two things you do. Um, one is, if you're sure that the equation of the tangent is horizontal or vertical, you just write down two answers straight away. If it's vertical, write x equals something. If it's horizontal, write y equals something. If you're not sure that it's horizontal or vertical, you lay down this template. And then you fill in three parts of it. You fill in that, you fill in that, and you fill in that. Leave them there, of course, because you want some algebra to be in this equation or else it won't be an equation. How do you fill in that? You fill in that by finding the derivative, or dy dx. How do you fill in that? You just find an x-coordinate, like of a point that it goes through. And how do you find that? You find a y-coordinate, for example, of a point that it goes through. And in any question where you're finding the equation of the tangent, I strongly recommend this thing uh, called the multiple choice box, where you have a super tidy top row and a super tidy bottom row and then um, everything becomes simpler because you've now only got four places to substitute in. Either there, 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 or there. And if it's multiple choice out of four, you can usually rate, make the right call just by uh, eliminating it. Um, there's plenty of videos on multiple choice boxes, which I would strongly recommend um, if you're getting comments 687 a lot. Have a watch of those videos.